Hi guys, I need a new tool. That tool is an engine stethoscope or digital deck can. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make one from cheap DIY components. In the description, there's a timestamp breakdown of this episode. Also, there's links to our social media. And if we're meeting for the first time, consider subscribing. What Built On Purpose is about, it is, um, it's all about DIY and I have enough knowledge to be dangerous. I don't know everything, but I want to share that with you guys. So if that's up your alley, consider subscribing. So a bit of background behind this episode. I've recently changed the ignition on this Datsun 240Z with the L28 stroker motor in it. Uh, I've made up a Megasquirt MS1 computer, configured it in ignition only. Um, if you feel like it, have a look at the cards. I'll throw up some videos for you to look at. Um, what has happened, um, I've put the ignition table together, went to drive it a bit, and I've had some strange, strange behaviors where the engine's not tolerating as much ignition advance as it previously had. Uh, which prompted me to think that uh, maybe something else is going on. Um, normally you can hear the knock in this engine in the cabin, but I mean, well, what if there's something going on that I'm not aware about? So what is, that's the driver for this um, this build. Uh, this, um, what I'm doing is not new. Um, I remember reading articles in the early noughties from Autospeed, who are an Australian-based online journalism, uh, motor journalism type uh, website. Um, I don't know if they still exist, but they wrote some really good articles, and I remember reading one where they pulled apart a Dick Smith Electronics um, hearing aid to do the similar function. So the concept's not new. I believe you can buy more professional setups as well. I think the Knockbox is one, um, and it's it's a fairly flash, robust looking unit. Um, the, I will be using this for detecting detonation, but that's not its only use. Um, I think you, you could use it for hearing any other engine noises, rod knock, um, if there's a tap it, you could, I think, because um, the the microphone will be movable, you'd probably be able to put it up and down the engine to hear close to which um, rocker might be loose and needs adjustment, um, the lash, I don't know. Um, I could put a, de a knock sensor on that, but from my understanding, most knock sensors are tuned to a specific waveform um, and I'm unsure if they'll actually detect det signs of detonation at low load, um, particularly around the cruise map, which is where I think I'll primarily use this device. Um, the, you can get good benefits from fuel economy from winding in more advanced in your low load and cruise areas. Um, and I'm not sure if a knock sensor would be able to pick that up, if, particularly if those knock indications are low, uh, low in volume compared to the rest of the, rest of the engine noise. Um, so the kit I'm using, if you're Australian based, you'll be familiar with JCAR. Um, JCAR, well I hope I can assemble this because this kit is part of uh, the short circuit series uh, which is aimed at children. Um, but this is called the Bionic Gear, it's uh, part number KJ8226. Um, but it's basically has just about everything we need um, in it. It's got an amplifier, potentiometer to adjust the gain. Uh, needs a 9 volt battery to run, it's got an electric microphone um, but if you're doing a kit you can use a, a piezo transducer, it does the same thing, um, kind of, um, they produce a waveform without voltage um, but yeah, so this, that's the kit, fairly simple, this costs less than 10 bucks, uh, I've got a bit of shielded wire to extend the microphone, I've got a battery clamp to um, to fix the microphone to, so I can clamp it anywhere on the engine, and you just need a set of headphones, um, a jiffy box to hide to, to mount it all in, and a few other things. But I mean, it's a fairly simple kit. I think it'll go well. I might as well head over to the bench and start uh, putting this thing together. This is the finished box. Um, you can see, this is the that's the, the the kit, JCAR kit. It's got the potentiometer through it. Um, I use some single core shielded wire to extend the the um, microphone. Uh, there's the the headphone jack and just a switch to turn it on and off and the nine volt battery um, nine volt battery uh, connector. Uh, what I did do was I 
um, spaced the board off the base of the jiffy box using some uh, some some bolts with uh, there's another nut underneath the PCB and then the PCB is on there um, connecting the microphone to my terminal is just simply hot melt glue in for now um, I'll have to see how well that lasts. I think I'm going to call this just the the Mark One iteration. There's a few things I might might alter eventually. Um, things I've got to do is put a bit of a, a zip tie on the the microphone cable so it doesn't pull out any further, and maybe some means to hold down the nine volt battery. Um, but yeah, I mean, all up, it took half an hour to do, and this this is this kid's kit. The hardest thing to do is figure out the polar, the, the, make sure your polarised capacitors are in the right orientation so it's not too hard and, um, it'll do for a first round iteration so I think we'll, we'll go give it a, a quick test um, and maybe see if it actually works first because I haven't tried it out yet so um, but yeah, do that now I was chuffed that it worked first time, um, which wasn't unexpected though. Uh, it is a kid's kit and it's not exactly rocket science to do. Uh, what I haven't filmed and what I won't, I don't think I'll edit in, um, is um, I got all excited that it worked and I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a trial on an engine. Um, I've got a Defender TD5 Land Rover with a diesel. Um, I thought if there's any engine I'm going to be able to hear uh, the inner workings of, it would be a diesel motor. Um, so I went through it on the TD5 and you can hear a lot. But, and I think to be functional, um, I'm going to have to train my brain to pick the noises. Um, it is acting as just an amplified, a stethoscope of sorts, so it's not isolating one sound, it's hearing everything. Um, so I'm going to have to train my brain uh, to pick the detonation when it does occur. But it was interesting, you could hear a lot of stuff going on, in the, on there. Um, and I'm wondering if I could do things like um, attach it to the sump. Uh, and turn the engine off and see if I could hear the, the oil pooling around. Oh, I don't know. It was just it was just very interesting to do uh, to to listen to. So um, yeah, happy with the the first round iteration. Um, well, yeah, I have to see how it goes. I think there will be a, a few tweaks to be made. Uh, one modification I think I will have to make before I hit the road is some means how to record the sound from the box into my laptop that I'm going to use to data log. Uh, I think I might have to modify a 3.5mm cable, uh, mono cable, because it only produces mono sound, uh, and turn that into a microphone. Um, and somehow have an output so I can hear it while I'm uh, using it. Um, and I think that will benefit, particularly if I can get some good sound re recording software to, to isolate the information and to see, I don't know, I've got to demonstrate to you guys that it actually functions and the only way I can think of doing it is actually recording the sound and playing it back to you. I think the only thing holding me back from actually doing some more road tuning on this car is bleeding the brakes. It has been exceptionally difficult to try and get my, my favourite Penrite brake fluid in the region I'm in. It seems to be an order only uh, type item. so. Um, once I get hold of some brake fluid, I'll uh, bleed the brakes and we'll go go for a drive and start start tuning. Lesson learned for me is it's fun to prototype. Uh, I forgot how much fun it is to make up a, a kit and the satisfaction that it is to um, actually have it function. Uh, so I, I don't, don't know if this interests anyone, um, if anyone's interested in doing their own or similar. Um, what I might do is in the future, I might even try and make a bit more of a robust kit and run a, a series um, of videos or something that shows a bit more in depth uh, how to do it yourself. Um, I don't know if that interests anyone. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I'd be um, I'd be keen to know that. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was of interest, uh, like it. Um, also, share it with your mates if you think someone might be interested. Uh, find the information valuable. Uh, have a look at what YouTube recommends to watch next, as well as uh, just the Mega Squirt playlist for this car, the build. Um, 
subscribe, check out our social medias, all that jazz. Um, catch us in the next episode. Thanks for watching.